Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the video. Now, today's vehicle once again came in straight off the farm and not only is the outside filthy, but this 2018 Ford Escape recently had some unwanted house guests inside and there's still one in there that didn't get the eviction notice. So let's have a look around. Okay, well starting with the exterior and the fact that this vehicle drives on gravel roads a ton pretty well explains it all here as the whole vehicle is covered in dirt from front to back but all that swirling dust has also left a pretty big pile on the rear bumper and then the carpeted wheel well liners are stuffed full too. But moving inside now, and I was pretty surprised to find a number of mouse traps set all around the inside, but way more shocked to actually find a dead mouse underneath the driver's seat. Now I'll have the explanation for all of this a bit later in the video, but just before we dive even further into this vehicle and find all the mouse turds, Take a second and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you never miss out on one of these epic transformations each week. All right, well, I am crossing my fingers that I don't find any more mice inside the vehicle today, but either way, this Escape is going to look brand new by the end of the detail, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the transformation. All right guys, well obviously the first step here is to dispose of the body. And yes, if you're wondering, this is the first time I've ever found anything dead inside a vehicle. And then as you can imagine, the inside smelled disgusting as I think the mouse had been there for about a week. So I'm running my ozone machine to take care of that smell. And then while I work on the exterior for a few hours, the ozone will have a chance to dissipate before I start on the inside. Moving to the back now, and as usual, I figured I'd give you some background on the vehicle. So when the owner dropped it off, she was telling me that obviously she's had a mouse problem in the vehicle for a little while and said she's caught four adult mice and actually had five baby mice fall onto her feet while driving. Although she hasn't seen any more for a while now, so she figured it was safe to get it cleaned. And while rodent extermination certainly isn't my area of expertise, I will be taking a real good look through the vehicle to try to find where they were able to get in so the problem can be resolved once and for all. Starting on the underside now, and you can see there's a fair bit of dirt that's accumulated under there. So using my undercarriage sprayer here, and it's easily able to take care of that. 
and most importantly get it clean so I can get a good look later on to see if there's any holes where mice could get in. And if anyone is wondering where you can get one of these, well I've got the link to it down in the description. And since they come with a standard quarter inch quick connect coupler and can hook up to most pressure washers, they're definitely a tool I'd recommend having. Now while I covered the escape with foam, I wanted to quickly answer a question I've seen a fair bit and that's regarding the easy fuel systems on vehicles like this Ford Escape. I guess some people are worried about water getting into the gas tank, but since they actually have two flaps with one being further down that only a fuel nozzle can open up, there's really no issue with it getting wet, though I wouldn't recommend spraying it straight on with a pressure washer. All right, well getting the escape pulled back into the garage, I'll quickly get the front seats removed. And you'll notice I've got my respirator on now too, really just for my own protection and looking at what was hiding underneath. And it's a good thing I do because I found a whole pile of mouse turds underneath the passenger seat and you can never be too careful with these things. Okay, moving to the section underneath the passenger seat and the pile of mouse turds here is a pretty good indication to me that their access point to the vehicle is likely somewhere in the near vicinity, plus the fact that the owner mentioned there was some canola that had been spilled under the seat a while back. So I'll get the air vent piece removed so I can take a closer look, and sure enough, there's a hole here. This is what it looked like from underneath the vehicle, so I'm guessing the owner drove over something pretty sharp that cut through the plastic and the floorboard, and then the canola attracted the mice inside the vehicle 
So it'll be nice to be able to tell the owner where the mice were getting in and that replacing the plastic liner under the vehicle should solve the problem for good. Starting on extracting now and it's time to answer this week's members question and it's has a car ever broke down or ran out of gas while detailing it? Now you might be surprised to hear this but yes that has actually happened a couple of times. Most recently with the Hyundai Tucson I did about two months ago. I had just finished the detail and went to move it to the driveway to get all the after shots and it wouldn't start. Now a little troubleshooting later and despite the gas gauge saying it still had a quarter of a tank. I put some gas in it and sure enough it started right up and I obviously made sure to tell the owner that they had a faulty gas gauge. Moving over to the driver's side now and Mike wanted me to let you know that he wants to see more people using his emoji every week which if you didn't know is one of the perks you get access to if you become a member of the channel. Now along with exclusive access to the members only community tab where I post sneak peeks and behind the scenes stuff among other things then besides that you can also get exclusive members only discount codes for merch and detail geek auto care or even early access to new videos. So if that sounds intriguing to you and you want to support Mike and the channel, there should be a big join button right below this video you guys can check out.
Here's all the dirty water the Bissell sucked out of the escape today. Gross. Now while I steam the pedals, I wanted to mention for those of you who enjoy seeing dirty things get blasted clean with steam, that I've posted several steam cleaning compilation videos over on the second channel, The Detail Geek 2, so if you didn't already know about it, that channel is where I post all kinds of different videos for you guys, including a couple of day in the life videos, so be sure to head over there and check it out. Now you may have noticed earlier that the driver's seat had a lingering white spot after I finished extracting, so I'll quickly blast it with steam now and about a minute later and it's completely gone. Alright, moving to the leather now, and for that I'm spraying on some Meguiar's D181 leather cleaner, then I'll use my soft horsehair brush to gently agitate, and then simply wipe it off with a microfiber towel, and then once I've got all the seats clean, I'll use some Meguiar's D180 leather conditioner, and apply it with a microfiber applicator pad, leaving them looking and feeling soft and supple. Moving back outside and to really boost the depth and gloss of this beautiful blue paint, I'm applying a synthetic paint sealant with a foam finishing pad, and if you've watched the most recent Day in the Life video on the second channel, you might know what product I'm using here, but either way, you get to see how well it works in just a minute.
Okay, second last step here is to get the glass cleaned and I'm happy to say that my new Detail Geek waffle weave glass towels are in stock on my website at detailgeekautopair.com along with the ultra plush drying towels, both of which are selling very fast. So if any of you out there struggle with cleaning glass, well, these waffle weave towels are the secret to streak free glass, so be sure to check them out. All right guys, well nine hours later and the escape is looking brand new again. And I gotta say, I hope that was the first and last time that I ever have to deal with something dead inside a vehicle. Now, if you guys enjoyed this one, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, enjoy the guitar outro, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.